Hello YouTube, this is Asatsu5. I found another video that I can technically film on my iPhone, and it is a review. It's a review over my DIY chapstick. This is my most used tube. And, um, basically someone asked me in a recent video, how did I like my DIY chapstick? How did it turn out? And the quick answer, like, if you don't want to watch this whole video, is that I love it. And it's weird, because as a kid and as a, um, younger adult, I really didn't use uh, lip products, chapstick, lip balms and stuff on any regular basis. And um, I actually, like, as a young kid I didn't care, you know. So I really don't have a whole lot of experience with the chapstick branded chapstick. And so I don't know um, if I'm going to talk about something, a concern that I have, but I don't know if this is normal or not. But, basically, I use this on a relatively regular basis. Not every day, but uh, I keep a tube beside my nightstand because I have a CPAP machine and it's constantly blowing air in this region. It is humidified, so I probably don't need to use this at night, but I made a habit of putting it on uh, before I put my CPAP machine on and um, I keep a tube in my denim jacket I keep a tube uh, in my uh, nicer pairs of pants that I wear uh, when I'm kind of dressing up not 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 like dressing up like a suit and tie but if I'm just going out on the town running errands going to Buffalo Wild Wings you know stuff like that uh, and I keep a tube in my EDC bag that I carry with me to work. I don't necessarily carry my EDC bag with me every day. I keep it in my vehicle pretty much all the time, but uh, I usually carry my EDC bag in the work truck when I go to work because uh, that's the time that I normally need oddball tools and stuff that um, you know, are really handy to have around, but most people don't carry with them, like duct tape, paracord, uh, uh, chapstick. Uh, I keep a couple of books, um, uh, backup knives, multi tool, stuff like that. So, I keep a tube in there. And I also have given one tube to my mother, my one tube to my brother. I don't think my brother's necessarily been using it, but I've given one tube to my brother's girlfriend. I've given one tube to um, Daniel, the Native American tribe guy from the, my Native American guide from the tribe of Mexico, as I sometimes call him. I gave one to his girlfriend, and I've given two tubes to the woman that cuts my hair. Um, and, um, when I did ask um, these females that were using it, they were really, really happy with it. In fact, I didn't have to ask, um, I hate to use the word a hairdresser, because it's normally not um, socially acceptable, at least um, with um, if you're talking to an older man um, to go to a hair salon or have a hairdresser. You're supposed to go to a barber shop. Um, that's where men get their haircuts. But, um, um, this girl I went to high school with, and I, uh, we enjoy each other's company, um, and, um, it's good to catch up and just, um, have a familiar face. So I get my hair cut from her, and she actually, um, I didn't have to ask her, hey, how did you like it? She actually messaged me back, I was like, hey, uh, I really like it, and, um, she actually, when she heard that I was making it, she offered to buy it from me. I was like, oh, I'm not going to sell it to you. This is like my first or second batch, which I'm still on my first and second batch. But, uh, and she was um, very not overly nice, I think. She was like, you know, this is how Bort Bees got started. And I was like, I don't think I'll be able to compete with Bort Bees. But, um, anyways very very positive feedback from the people that used it and actually used it um, very good experience for me I have very I know this is weird for a guy to talk about uh, having supple skin um, moisturized and stuff uh, 
um, normally we like to think of ourselves as Chuck Norris or Clint Eastwood, you know, we're all masculine and stuff. Uh, which, uh, you may not know this, but uh, Chuck Norris, um, Bruce Willis, uh, Event, Ronald Reagan, and um, um, John Wayne wore makeup. So, and I've worn makeup, and, and I didn't like it. But, so... You kind of have to get over yourself. Um, um, those are just some things when you um, do certain activities you have to use. But, anyways, back to get back on topic. Um, I use this and um, I get very soft, supple, moisturized lips. The ingredients seem to be doing what they are advertised to do. I I, I can't remember the uh, ingredient list off the top of my head, but um, cocoa butter, coconut oil, vitamin E oil, evil lavender oil, peppermint oil, um, um, beeswax. Uh, they all seem to be doing what they're supposed to do. And uh, I don't have to use it on a daily, daily basis to upkeep the health and uh, um, the aesthetics of my lips. Uh, I don't have to use it on a daily basis, uh, but I do notice after a few days being outside, my lips do get cracked and dried, and I use this, and it doesn't take very long. They're pretty much back to normal, so I'm very happy with it. Um, I'm trying to remember what all I said in the first time I filmed this video. Um, but yes, very happy with it. Um, the people that tried it and used it are happy with it. Uh, I really, for the longest time, didn't use lip product. And it wasn't until Vaseline Lip Therapy that I started using this. And I thought, hey, lips feel nice. You know, that's how they're, I guess, supposed to feel. Um, not like sandpaper. And um, I liked this, but uh, I heard some negative things about uh, petroleum products uh, pr uh, premature aging the skin. And I was like, well, I want something more natural. Um, so that's why I decided to make this. And um, so, and people don't often think about this, but when you use these tins or uh, Carmex tins, um, uh, they're kind of inconvenient to me it's kind of difficult to open this and um, just think about it you're going through the day you're picking up stuff you're touching things you may pet a dog and then you um, r rub your finger on this uh, lip balm and then you rub it on your lips and you got whatever you touched on your lips with this, you're just rubbing this directly on your lips. So to me, this is a little bit more hygienic um, and a little bit more packable or palmable. Uh, it's easier to carry. This isn't hard to carry, but this is easier to carry. Um, so I'm really enjoying this. Now, like I said, I don't have a history with using lip products. Um, you know, um, I was a young kid. I didn't care, you know, um, how I necessarily looked. You know, camouflage blue jeans and uh, a baseball cap, cheap shoes. Um, I was more worried about, um, um, you know, other things than necessarily how I looked. And um, so I don't have a whole lot of experience with uh, the, br the um, commercially available chapstick branded chapstick. And so I don't know... Uh, if chapstick does this, I do know people who use Carmex and chapstick, and they seem to be addicted to it. They're putting it on like every few hours or something. You know, I see them constantly putting it on. But um, one thing I did notice with this, with the um, DIY chapstick that I keep in my EDC bag, and I generally keep the EDC bag in um, my Jeep or the truck. During moderate to uh, high um, temperatures, and especially in my walk truck, which does not have air conditioning, um, this chapstick will get very, very soft. And when you go to apply it, um, it get it, it 
it strips way too much off and it get and it and it applies very very thick visibly thick uh it's like you have um uh donut sugar on your lips you know you can visibly see it and it looks weird so um i don't know if uh the commercially available um uh chapsticks do that uh i don't know if they are made out of a harder material um, I, I think they use paraffin wax, uh, among other things. But um, the recipe that I have glides on very smoothly. It puts a very thin layer of um, product on, and it absorbs uh, on the lips re relatively qu uh, quickly. It doesn't feel like you have a coat of something on, necessarily. Um, it's just a very th thin sheen. So this might be a softer uh, lip product than um, what you call it, um, uh, the commercially available drugstore chapstick. But I don't know that because I don't use chapstick. I don't use the store-bought chapstick. But like I said, good reviews from everybody that um, actually uses it, including me, um, uh, friends, best friends, girlfriend, um, um, brother's girlfriend, um, I guess, for lack of a better term, hairdresser, um, the lady that cuts my hair, that's usually how I refer to her when I'm describing her, um, and, um, it's been a very successful experiment, um, Trying not to say um when I start, it's hard for me to stop. But yes, very successful experiment. Very happy with it. I'm going to continue using it. And I might play with some different ingredients as far as shea butter, because I have shea butter now. I might um, try some different essential oils if uh, I figure out that some have a better SPF rating. I think I like the peppermint scent essential oil better than lavender. And I'll tell you the reason why I use the two different uh, essential oils. Uh, peppermint has a very fresh cooling uh, effect, um, which is not as um, apparent in chapstick as it is when you, you know, chew peppermint gum. But peppermint also has an SPF rating. Um, I don't know if lavender has it, but lavender has antiseptic, antibacterial um, um, benefits. So, like, if you cut yourself with a knife and it's not like a gash or a gaping wound, which I guess you can use it on a gaping wound, but it's meant for small cuts, you can put lavender oil on that and it'll help keep it from getting infected. And it'll actually help keep, um, keep it from uh, getting a... It'll help it from scarring up as well. And a tea tree oil will do the same thing. But I think I like the peppermint the best as of right now. The uh, chapstick, the peppermint chapstick, isn't as in your face as my peppermint deodorant. I put a lot of essential oil in this deodorant. Um, and I'll talk about that in a different video. But this is like in your face peppermint. And I haven't used it um, on any regular basis yet. I just made it, and um, but just taking the cap off and smelling it, it's like this may interfere with my cologne. I got several colognes that I like, uh, well, three of them at least, and this might overpower the cologne that I'm wearing, which I don't think that's necessarily a good thing. I don't know. It might be, um, uh, but... Um, yeah, this is in your face peppermint, and um, after I use it for a little bit, I'll decide if that's a good or bad thing. But that's it. Hope y'all have a great day. I hope you uh, learned something from this video and you enjoyed it. I'm Satsi Five, and I'm out.